Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 21st through the 30th, 2018 reading for you. I've shuffled and meditated upon the cards. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, wow, guys. And we're going to share what these 10 days have in store for you, which are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. All right, and if you guys would like to book a private reading with me, That'll all be in the information, in the description box below. Wow, okay. <laughs> Guys, this is beautiful. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So love, whether you are falling in love, some of you are, whether you are, you know, with somebody who you absolutely adore, love is the whole center of this whole entire reading. Like, just absolutely, this triangle right here, this, here. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is healing, beautiful love. Okay. Moving forward with, oh, this is the glare. Okay. Moving forward with love at your center, with love at your heart. Being the port in the storm as the water rages around you, as the spiritual rages around you, as maybe people, you know, try to to pull you down because there's so much love and prosperity in this reading capricorn sun moon or ascendant people may try to pull you down and sit there and say no you can't possibly be this happy i refuse to believe that you can be let them refuse all they like let them sit there and you know blow hot air all they want to it's not your problem it's not your business right so as you're moving forward in love there is going to be time here where you are sitting and you are saying can this really be happening? Can I let all these blessings, all these, all this bounty, all this beauty into my life? And you'll be up and you'll be worrying and you'll be this person here in rumpled bedclothes, but that's not what everybody sees. Everybody sees this person on the horse, moving forward, achieving their goals, succeeding. But you're worried, it's feeling caged in. This isn't a cage, this is a ladder. It's going to be painful because stopping negative thoughts once we get them rolling in our heads, once we start to worry as human beings, once all that comes in, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, it's hard to shut it up. And you want to just say, scream in your head, shut up to all these negative thoughts. I know that's a bit rude, but it doesn't really matter. You are moving forward in a way that's positive and right for you. You are moving forward in love and in healing and in prosperity. For those of you who aren't interested in falling in love, you're falling in love with yourself. Which might sound silly, but most people don't even like themselves. To be able to sit there and look yourself in the eye in the mirror and say, I love you, you're fantastic, of course you can achieve your goals, is a huge step forward, a huge step towards prosperity, towards joy and understanding. Leave behind this worry and this doubt. It isn't even worth it. Because you're moving forward with such love here. Such healing, beautiful love. For some of you, Again, this is meeting your soulmate. This is being with your soulmate. This is sitting there and realizing, you know, you don't need to buy into what everybody is selling about living in the bigger house, living in the better place, living here, living there, achieving more and more and more and more and more. When you're so ragged and tired that you come home at night and you can't even enjoy what you achieved. This is saying to go back to simpler things and make sure that you can love the blessings that you have. This is being in love. For some of you, yes, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you're falling in love. You're building a firm foundation. Now, I'm not saying in 10 days you're going to meet your soulmate and everything's going to be fantastic. Some of you, you might. This is a general reading. Many of you guys watch this. So, I mean, for some of you, yes. But again, take it slow. Do not sit there and say, oh my gosh, I love this person so much. You know, we're going to get married in three days and we just met each other. That's, that's too fast. You have to know the person. All right? If it's true, if it's real, then it will be able to grow and last and move forward that way. For some of you, you're falling in love. You're finding that perfect place, that light at the end of the rainbow in your home, in the home that you're creating. You could be thinking of starting a family. For others of you, you're falling in love, that beauty at the end of the rainbow is coming into your home, and you're realizing that your soul is blissful and happy like you were when you were a child, and you didn't really have a care in the world, except for, 
you know, climbing rocks and fishing and just having a great old time. Or however you spent your childhood. I don't know. Here, this is saying beauty, joy, harmony of soul. For those of you who aren't looking for a romantic partner, this is your soul being in balance with itself. Remembering when it was younger, remembering when you had dreams that you never knew you could fail at and embracing the bounty and the beauty in your life. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This is love. This is pure, blessed love given to you by the angels. This is love for yourself. This is love for others. This is moving forward in love and in peace and in harmony. It's gorgeous. Now, the cups can also represent the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So it could be that some of you are meeting a water sign. But this is love. This is falling in love. This is being in love. This is being in love with yourself. This is just being absolutely blissfully happy. The angels blessing it as you move forward. Now look at this. They're facing each other. This is beautiful. This is the balance of the feminine and the masculine coming into your life, giving you this bounty, right? This is a queen, more nurturing, more caring, atypical feminine energy, okay? Because definitely in times, you know, what was it, Queen Elizabeth I, she, didn't she execute more people than anybody else? I don't know, that could be wrong, but I know one of the queens definitely did. But, so it doesn't mean being weak, being, you know, anything like that. It means being, having and possessing atypical feminine energy. This could even be a man possessing just a very kind heart, a very loving nature. And this could be a woman possessing a very strong will and a absolute assurance in themselves. So it doesn't really matter. The cards don't really care about gender. They're talking about energy here. Caring and nurturing, loving and compassionate. And the cups, they're so beautiful because they're both so caring, so nurturing, loving and compassionate. But the king doesn't back down. Okay, they both have prosperity with the fish on their, on the side of their, their thrones, right? The seashells of the throne, which makes you think of Venus, which makes you think of love. Well, at least it makes me think of it, right? So being born, yeah, listen, listen to that. Being born of sea foam, Venus being born of the sea, of love, of sea foam. Here it is moving forward in love. It is embracing love. And this may be that you're just finding the person that is absolutely perfect for you and moving forward in love and joy. And in between, it's, it's soulmate energy right there. So even if you're moving forward loving yourself, because let's just say that you're not really interested in finding somebody right now, which is totally cool, you're falling in love with yourself. You're falling in love with what you can achieve, what you have, what you want. And to fall in love with yourself. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again and I'll say it till people stop thinking it's funny. To fall in love with yourself is amazing because if you can sit there and look yourself straight in the eye and say, I love you, that's more than most people can do in their whole entire lifetime. And then you get your wish. You get your heart's desire, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. The wish that settles deep in your soul and that resonates with your bones, your essence, your marrow, every single part of you. What you have wanted for so long after being through such a time of sorrow, such a time of heartbreak and heartache. That's what Brandwin went through in the, in the Mabinagian, I believe that's how you pronounce it, the wealth mythology. She went through sorrow and she went through pain and she learned her true wish, which was actually to call on her brother Bran, Bran the Blessed, okay, to come and save her from a life of servitude and sorrow and pain and suffering. She went from being a queen, she was a princess, she was Branwyn's, she was Bran's sister and the princess of Wales, and then she was married to the King of Ireland, and the King of Ireland took her home, and there was almost a huge fiasco because one of her brothers, I believe it was, it was either a full brother or a stepbrother caused this huge disgrace to the King of Ireland. He 
what did he cut off all the ears of the horses? It was something gross like that. And he disgraced them. They were able, the two of them, Bran and Branwyn, were able to soothe the situation, make peace. They got given a cauldron of plenty, Ireland, from Bran, and she married the King of Ireland. And she was such a benevolent queen that people started to really like her. But then the people who didn't want her to be liked said, no, how could you forget the insult that her brother did? It's absolutely, you know, unexcusable. And the king folded for some reason and sent her to live in the kitchens as a scullery maid to be boxed on the ears every single day by the cook. She taught this little bird how to speak and she sent a message to her brother to come and save her and he did. He was a giant, of course, and he walked across the ocean to come and get her with, of course, a fleet of people. But this is your heart's wish. This is your heart's desire. And this is it being heard, being answered. Also meeting somebody who is strong and confident and competent or being that strong, confident, competent person. He always, on the best way of the emperor, he is like, Solomon, wise and benevolent. The worst aspect, he's like Nero, playing his fiddle while Rome burns. So there's that duality to him. Embrace the wisdom. Embrace the wisdom that is coming through this love. And as you are embracing this wisdom, don't worry about what other people think. Turn inward. Let your, creativ your creativity and your passion guide your sight and guide your feet. Stay flexible of mind and of spirit and move forward in a way that is bountiful and right for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Because this right here, and I know I rambled about this story a little bit too long, but it's one of my favorite ones. This right here is absolutely beautiful. This is gorgeous. Doesn't need anything else. Look at them looking at each other. I mean, this... These 10 days are all about love. Now I'm not telling you to quit your job and follow what you love and everything like that. I'm saying to move forward, and the cards are saying, because I'm not saying anything, the cards are saying to move forward with love and healing at your center, because that is the way you're getting your heart's desire. Your heart's wish is coming true. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.